I've heard someone say that being in PA school is like sprinting, and that's uh, what it is for our students. They have a lot of detailed medical education they need to learn, and they have to learn it really fast. As educators, we, we sometimes feel that in the time allotted, we need to um, deliver as much medical education as we possibly can because there's so much information for them to learn. Even if you've lectured it and it's in the PowerPoint, you still don't know for sure that they got it. The most common phrase that we hear people use is opening up the fire hose and just spraying people with information and they're trying to grab on all these pieces and control it, own it, learn it, remember it. PA education is really very difficult. There's a lot of facts to learn, there's a lot of connections to learn, there's a lot of clinical reasoning. And for our students, we build on what they knew before they came here. Um, but everybody came with something slightly different. And that's a really difficult thing sometimes for students to understand that they have to simultaneously learn general material and learn material that's very detailed. Um, but that said, our students do a really great job. I love the MedEx model where everybody comes with their own experience and then you fill in all the gaps around that and you help each other f from your strength. The students who know more about a particular uh, area like cardiology will help the students who are maybe more skilled in something like reproductive medicine. And then when the, when the um, subject changes, then the people who are more experienced in reproductive medicine will be helping out the people who know more about cardiology. I don't expect myself to be the all-knowing expert on whatever the topic is, like, you know, EKGs. There's a lot of people out there that have more experience interpreting EKGs, you know, that's just one example. You're grounded in what you know, and so it makes you an asset to your classmates, um, and it also gives you confidence, rather than coming in and not knowing anything. <laughs>
uh, just half an hour, 45 minutes later. And you can take their head and rotate it. The baby will get active and usually they start crying, which is an awesome sign. You kind of see, obviously if the skin is sickly and friable and transparent, the child's going to be more preterm. That one, you know, we just found out. Other times we play games. And you're going to go this way. And the baby that gets wrapped to the other end that the parents will accept is the winner. Okay, so. Here, okay, now you're out. Okay. Okay, 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 okay good. Arms are good. Oh, you're going to wrap? That was her job. Okay, that's not a baby for me. There's a baby. Yay! <laughs> Group one with a baby. Oh, we got the We're trying to build a team concept. Uh, as we go do some of these changes. I love the hands-on workshops. Those are my favorite. It's my favorite kind of learning and it's also my favorite kind of teaching. Okay, on, let's go find Elmo! During the well child workshop. Good. How many teeth you got? The students have to examine both an infant and a preschool to five or six year old child. Say you? Yep. Yes, you can. So they have to use very different skill sets. Go and open up. Stick out your tongue at me. Mm. Because different kinds of approaches are required. 34 and 3 quarters. With a talking child. What's that? It's a duck with a piece of paper? Yeah. That's crazy. It's funny. Here, one for you. Versus a non-talking child. There we go. Good grasp. And a walking child. Stand up. Okay. Stand up. I'll see if I can catch Versus a non-walking child. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do the paper. So. so there's different things you're looking for and different ways that you approach it. She has a cough. Did she cough at all for you? No, I didn't hear it. Oh, okay, good. She's, it's a lingering cough. She was sick a couple of weeks ago, but she, she still has the cough. Okay. All right, so pulse was 123, temperature was 37.3 Celsius. Uh, didn't do a blood pressure because he's not, not, not the right age. But lungs were clear. Right, exactly. Yeah. But after the students go in there, they're like, oh, wow, you know, I, I, I've always been afraid of examining kids. That's pretty much it. You know, this was a great experience for me. So I think that yeah, yeah. that what's great about the hands-on learning is that most of the time the students really like it. Thanks for letting me play with you for a little while. <laughs> Doesn't get any easier than this. As a faculty, we spend a lot of time thinking about uh, how to look at the curriculum through our students' eyes, how to give them the best curriculum we can possibly give them, how to teach it in a way that they can remember it and use it the best. Um, because we know they've given up a lot to come to PA school, that they're working really hard to get through school, and we want every bit of their work to be the most effective and efficient as possible. <laughs> okay. Baby four. It's really our job is to know how they learn best. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Good, fun morning.